everybody, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to have a go at painting a fawn. And this is uh, a little bit more challenging than some of the paintings I've been putting up just lately. Uh, but if you want the sketch, you can download the sketch from the website dianeanton.com, um, which will help. So I am starting with uh, a sketch here, which I've already drawn. and. Just to let you know what colours I'm going to be using, this is Burnt Sienna and Burnt Umber, which is darker brown. Um, I'll probably be using some black or some um, very dark brown, Van Dyke brown possibly. Here is my black. Um, I know you can't see that, but my camera, um, I'm afraid, isn't got wide enough angle. Um, and I'm going to start with the eyes, which um, I always start with the eyes, almost always start with the eyes, which I've drawn in with pencil. This is done with pencil. So we will attempt something here. Just even if we come in later and do more to the eye, at least we can get the basic um, character of the animal in there. Now I'm going to, I'm winging this really a little bit because this one I haven't painted before. I have painted a fawn before, but not um, like this one. So I'm just dropping in some dark brown for the uh, ear tips. And then I'm going to just warm that up a little bit with some burnt sienna. And then just running that across the forehead there a bit and before it dries I want to pull this down as well and as you can see I kind of suck the paint up a little bit with my brush it's getting very windy again and then I'm going to wet this area around here And on the nose, this kind of deer, there's a slightly grey, um, greyish tinge, greyish brown centre to the forehead and the base of the ears. And um, then more golden colour. Bearing in mind this is the underpainting and we will be coming back in to refine it. I'm going to switch to a larger brush and um, burnt sienna and I want to add some quinacridone gold to that make it a nicer colour. Just down the front. And then you can drag that down into the legs and then I'm going to bring blue into that to make a kind of soft grey. Maybe a little bit of um, Potter's Pink might work in there. And then across the back, it's more of a dull colour, dull brown, so this is Van Dyke brown. And then the, the golden brown kind of comes round into the body there a little bit. Thank you. 
This area here will have to be sharpened up later. And so now there's a little bit more grey in here. And on the back leg, and then going back to brownish tone on the way down there. And maybe with a bit of potter's pink in here. And we will be dropping some dark in at the foot as well and then I, I don't know what colour is the tail let me just assume that's going to be on the greyish side okay you can see this is drying quite light already so coming back in here with the um, Van Dyke Brown and I'm going to drop in some um, white gouache spots into there but for the time being we can help that process of spots by just dabbing this in slightly irregularly most of it will kind of just melt in but you can try a little bit more shadow down here on the rear leg and before very long we're going to have to um, Stop and let it dry. Okay, another coat up here. I haven't done the nose yet, but I want to let the face colour dry while I put the nose and mouth in. Put that greyish, blackish area needs to go in. Okay, that needs to dry now. Okay, so the first layer has now dried and I am going to now, oh, and I've um, put in the nose and the eyes and I'm going to now add some more um, burnt sienna and I'm going to use a different burnt sienna. This is a um, this is a Frank Herring palette which folds in half and um, I don't know if you can still buy these, you used to be able to get them. Um, I realised that the burnt sienna I was using was a little bit too dull for what I wanted so I looked in my stash and I found this which is much better and 
and uh, very subtle but, but nevertheless better. So I'm just dropping in some hints of, of this and, um, and then I'm going to do the back, the, um, this part here. So I'm going to mix um, this one, which is Van Dyke Brown with burnt sienna to give me a loose mixture. I never mix my colors completely, allowing them to mix on the palette. So there we are, that's back of the deer. And then now I'm going to take my small brush and some white gouache. And I'm gonna mix that up fairly thickly, so it's fairly dry. And then I'm going to hope that we can get the look of the spots on the back of the fawn. And I'm hoping it's going to um, just bleed enough just run enough so that they look convincingly soft. I think that's okay. The last thing we want to do here is do too much. So I think that's going to run a little bit and I think that's going to be okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more um, colour here on the back leg and I'm going to put a tiny bit more burnt sienna here and then I'm going to put just a touch more bra uh, black for the feet and Tiny bit there, that will be lighter. And then a little bit of Potter's Pink for the inside of the ears. Maybe a tiny touch more shadow there, perhaps. Not sure about that. Don't like the hard line anyway. I think probably needs a bit more on the eyebrows. Some curated eyebrows there. And that's it. I'm not going to play any more with that. Um, needs to dry. But I will give him some ground to stand on. And because he's a fawn, he will be, he will have been born in the spring. So let's find some spring-like greens from a previous event. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe a little bit of there we are. And a tiny smidgen of blue in the background just to remind us he's in nature and not a museum so he has 
sky behind him. So there we are. I think I think I'm going to dry that and then call it done. Oh, hang on a second. Okay. So thanks very much for being with me this afternoon. Hope you enjoyed watching me have a go at this fawn been a long time since I did a deer. Um, have a go. You can get the tracing from the website dianeanton.com and uh, so I'll see you again soon. Thanks for being here. Like and subscribe if you can. Thanks very much. Bye everyone. Bye.